right now we're doing a annual training event out here. So typically an annual training is two weeks long. We're currently breaking it down into four two week long rotations. Right now we've got the third rotation out here. The reason that we don't have everybody up here at once is because the YMCA does not have the facilities to um, basically house and feed 140 soldiers at once. Uh, so we're rotating guys through as best we can. It's a great opportunity for soldiers that aren't used to working to each, with each other to learn how to really kind of sort those things out and still get the mission done. Army Reserve soldiers from 994 and 409th Engineer Companies have the opportunity to cross-train within their MOS. One such soldier is Private First Class Burgess, a site leader for one of the structures being built for the YMCA of the Rockies at Snow Mountain Ranch. <laughs> I definitely want to keep this in my Army career, so as long as I'm in the military I'd like to stick with engineering and cross train and other things, electrical work and plumbing and everything else just to get good at that. The desire to perfect his craft has allowed Private Burgess to start living his dream, no matter how small it might be. Me and my girlfriend are building a tiny house together. We've been drawing out blueprints. And so this has kind of just been practice for that. We just have really wanted to do it so that, I mean, we're not like paying rent and so that we can travel around. We both really like traveling. And I think it'll be a really fun opportunity to just work on something like that together with our hands and get to know each other in that way. And I think it's going to be a really fun experience just knowing that the place that we're living is something that we built and that we built together. Teamwork is a driving force in this mutually beneficial endeavor. The Army came to the YMCA as part of the military's innovative readiness training program, the IRT program. Uh, YMCA, they provide all the materials, we provide all the labor and the tools and the equipment. Uh, it's a win-win because they get free labor out of it and we get excellent training value in a practical real-world situation. It enables us to um, execute projects that we otherwise could not afford. It helps us further our mission by, you know, providing a shade shoulder here for the, at the programs department. The process of building these shade structures is we start with the groundwork, uh, we start with grading, with getting the holes dug for the piers, uh, concrete piers that go underground. Um, then we get the concrete truck out here, we pour those piers, we pour the pad. Uh, after that we get the posts up. Um, after the posts, we've got these, uh, these large beams that weigh thousands of pounds. We get them up there, uh, use it, hoisting them up with a forklift, secure them into place, and then from there we start framing the roof. Uh, framing the roof, we frame the rafters, we get the plywood up there, we get the metal sheeting on. Then at that point, we just stain it and mission complete. We would never be able to contract that job out, so that's, that's a, a really good fit for us and for the IRT program. This has been really cool for us because we get to actually do some training that we were, you know, trained in our MOS to do. So it's really good practice. With a break from the norm and a breath of Rocky Mountain fresh air, structures aren't the only thing these Army Reserve soldiers have built. Been having a really good time out here. Love the place. The staff has been super friendly. I really like talking to all the civilians walking around. They're always excited to see us. From the YMCA of the Rockies in Granby, Colorado, I'm Specialist Jimmy Garvin.